Hey everyone, it's Sarada and I scribble. And today you're gonna get a slide of my 31 sum drawings I did for Inktober and a little bit of reflection. So Inktober was very much an experiment for me. Not only was I going to do one inked drawing every day, I was also going to record it and upload it to YouTube. And that turned into a struggle towards the end, but I did make it. I did my 31 videos and I'm very proud of that. Uh, some of the inks have changed a little since you saw them last, specifically the Steven Universe ones, because the majority of them have been colored. So that's a bit of a spoiler for future videos. I hope you don't mind. Um, what else? Favorite Tools has definitely become the Artline drawing system pen in 0.05. I love it. It's so thin. It's so smooth. It's great for my style of inking. I just enjoy it a lot. One tool I had wished to use more was the Pigma brush pen in brown. I didn't give that one as much time as I wanted to. Mainly I was having trouble finding art where I could use it and uh, I don't know, I felt very confined. I couldn't really come up with ideas that worked together with that color or that type of brush. So I simply let it be. I'm definitely, go definitely going to try and use it a lot in my sketchbook instead. And towards the end of Inktober, about halfway through, I found some gold ink and some shimmery dimensional paint, which I took every opportunity I could and slapped on as many drawings as I could towards the end. I had some that I'm very proud of. I also mentioned somewhere that I would be wanting to make a zine, and I still want to do that. However, finding paper that fits the scene is hard because I live in a place where we don't have access to a lot of paper stores and whatnot. So I still have to look into that. But in the meantime, a lot of these drawings will be available through Redbubble. And I've only put up a few as of right now. I've been struggling getting the editing done, like making them look nice and stuff like that. There are a few up. I will definitely be putting up more of them as soon as I can. So in the meantime, that is what I have to offer in regards of my Inktober. The zine will not contain every Inktober drawing. It will contain my favorite ones. And then I will also do sort of a spread at the end, I think, with all of the 31 days, but in smaller thumbnails. So yeah, that was my short little review of my Inktober. And here at the end, you can see the difference between day 31 and day one, which I really liked looking at for a very long time. Either way, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!